so guess what, y'all? I'm snitching. I'm snitching. I'm snitching. I'm snitching. Hi, and welcome to What the Kids Be Saying. I am your host, Esther Brunat, and What the Kids Be Saying is your source of behind the curve pop culture knowledge straight from a high school teacher's classroom. I keep up with Gen Z so that you do not have to. Today is a special report on cheating, AKA homework help. But it's kind of frustrating that companies market themselves as homework help, help your child when they know good and well the students are cheating. I'm over here doing the Lord's work for all of the teachers out here, just so you know. If Eve, look, you take a picture, you see in that? Take a picture and upload it, you can speak it. It gives them explainers. And it's owned by Google. So it's built for learning with help from teachers. Socratic brings you visual explanations. But listen, it's really just, it's really just kids cheating. A lot of times photo math will have mistakes um, and Mathway has way less mistakes. Let's take note that this says this is a Chegg service. If you were in college, you know, Chegg was a way to rent books. It was a hack, right? Like you could rent a book for a semester, just a semester at like a fraction of the price that you would have bought in the bookstore. So these are big companies that are backing these methods. Honestly, I don't hate it. It's user friendly. It shows work. It gives resources. And most of, mostly it's like, it's user friendly and reader friendly, but Brainly offers a lot of a variety of subjects. Under the guise of you get to help your kid. Did you hear that? Microsoft. So we've already got something from Google. We've already got something from Chegg. Now we have something from Microsoft. Like these big old companies have taken on this homework help thing, which means we've mainstreamed it and they're not going anywhere. I don't know if it's a good thing. I don't know if it's a bad thing. I just know it's a thing. And if they think there's value in these things, this is the direction that we're going in. I think we need to stop pretending us as a society, as a school system, as an education system, we need to stop pretending that these don't exist. We need to stop pretending like our work is valuable. Um, if kids can just look it up or crowdsource it or, you know, get it from a website. Um, if you're watching this on IG, on Instagram, I'm not posting this whole video. This is just a clip. Um, the whole thing will be on the YouTube because it was too long. It's too long, in my opinion, for IGTV. But y'all, that's where we are. This is the cheating special. This is the third episode on What the Kids Be Saying that I've done on cheating. Um, the first one was such a hit that I had to do a follow-up for more things that people were telling me. And then this time, after I posted that video and it went viral, it was like, I have to tell the people that all of our efforts, the amount of hard work and effort that I'm putting into my job to teach my students is being thwarted by a bunch of an army of websites and um, Google and Microsoft and Chegg, and I can't compete with that. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and found it helpful. And you know, the purpose of what the kids be saying is for you to stay hip, and I want you to know what's up. So stay hip, friends.